Welcome to this basic yoga class. Welcome to this basic yoga class. Today we're going to focus on a beautiful sun salutation. We're going to warm up our body and then we are going to really focus on twisting poses today. So grab your mat. If you need extra cushion, you can grab a beautiful blanket and you can put it between your butt and your knees when you're in a kneeling position. I'm a RYT 200 level yoga instructor and my name is Angie. We're here to unwind, de-stress, revitalize, rejuvenate, and work on mobility, flexibility, and elasticity. All right, you guys, I want you to come in a kneeling position. Again, you can put a blanket behind you. If you have issues with your knees, put that blanket behind you and just prop yourself up on the blanket. Sun salutation A. We're just gonna inhale and exhale shoulders set back down and away from our ears we're breathing into the deepest part of our lungs we're just gonna warm up we're gonna inhale here and exhale as we come up into a kneeling back arch inhale as you sit it back down on your heels and we're gonna exhale as we come into the kneeling back arch. Two more times. We're just warming up our body. Beautiful inhalation. And exhale as you lengthen the front side of your body. One more time. Beautiful inhale. And exhale. Inhale at the top. Exhale as you come into extended child's pose, butt on your heels, and just sit here. Really focus on your butt coming to the heels. You can wiggle it if you need to. You can walk your fingertips away from your body. Feel the length all in through your back. You're going to come on to all fours, and we're going to do a beautiful cat stretch. Working on spinal mobility, we're going to focus on lifting up, and now cow. One more time, cat stretch, spinal mobility, and cow. Come into the beautiful cat stretch. Curl your toes under, lift your butt to the ceiling into a downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Really here, just release your upper body. Feel your calves open up. Feel the hamstrings and your glutes just open. Shake your head yes, shake it no. Just release them through your upper body. Come back down into a beautiful cat pose where you come up. Working on spinal mobility. From here, rest your butt on your heels into kneeling position. Beautiful warming of the body. All right, we're gonna inhale here. Exhale as you come into an extended kneeling back arch. Come down into extended child's pose. Beautiful job. Sit here in this extended child's pose. We're getting your entire body warmed up, getting it ready for all the yoga twist we're going to do. Come on up into a beautiful cat stretch. Curl your toes under, come into downward facing dog. Feel those calves release. Just shake your head yes, shake your head no. 
come back down onto your knees. Come back into that cat stretch. And come back to your knees. One more time. Inhale. Exhale into that extended back arch. Inhale as you come into the extended child's pose. And exhale. Just sit here. Wiggle those hips side to side. Walk your fingertips away from your body. Come into that beautiful cat stretch one last time. Curl your toes under. Downward facing dog. Oh, you should feel really open now. Heels are trying to reach the ground. Come on your knees one more time for that cat stretch. Up. And come into a kneeling position. All right, guys, let's sit down. You're just going to cross your legs. If you can't, just sit however you can. But right here, we're just going to cross our legs. And we're going to just take our left hand. This is a revolved, easy pose. Left hand. We're going to look over the right soldier. Right shoulder. Revolved, easy pose. We're working on twists today. So this releases in through the neck, in through the shoulders. Come center, right hand on the left knee. Inhale here. And look over your shoulder. Focusing on twist today. One more time, inhale, the left hand on the right knee, sit up tall, exhale as you look over your shoulder. Inhale, that left hand on the right knee, and exhale, look over your shoulder. Come center. We're gonna do the sage twist. So bring both knees to one side of the room. We're going to release tension in the neck, shoulders, and spine. So what we're going to do is just take our left hand, right hand, over to the left knee, and let's look behind us. This is a sage twist. So both knees are pointing to the left side of the room. We're going deeper into our twisting pose. Breathing into the deepest part of the lungs, releasing tension. And now, now both knees point to the right side of the room. Left hand comes on the outside of the right knee. And look over behind you. Feel the neck and the shoulders release. Feel that beautiful twisting action. No tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. And let's do that one more time, the sage twist. Roll both knees to the left side of the room. Take your right hand, place it on the outside of the left knee. You can inhale here as you look forward and exhale. As you twist and look over behind the right shoulder. Remember, we're twisting and opening up into our neck and our shoulders. Beautiful sage twist. One more time, both knees drop to the right. Take the left hand, inhale here. Exhale when you begin that twisting motion. Look over that left shoulder, feel the neck and the shoulders release. I want you to come center. Twisting forward stretch. We're gonna have our legs straight in front of us. Okay, we're gonna, and then this pose 
it is supposed to stretch this it stretches the spine legs and it contracts the organs and squeezes the kidneys to rejuvenate the blood system of the body so this is the twisting forward stretch take our left hand inhale exhale as you reach for your left foot right hand comes behind you again we're stretching the spine and the legs we're contracting the organs squeezing the kidneys so we rejuvenate the blood system of the body in this twisting forward stretch left hand is holding on to your left foot right hand is just heading towards the back of the room and come center inhale as your right hand comes up exhale as you touch your right foot inhale as you look at your left hand exhale as you follow it behind you rejuvenating the the blood system of our body I always love to know why I am doing a particular yoga pose and how it helps my body. One more time. Inhale the left hand up. Exhale, look forward. Look at your right hand with an inhalation and exhale as you follow it back and come center right hand up with an inhalation exhale grab the outside of the right foot inhale that left hand looking at it inhale you follow it back and come center we're going to do the revolved abdomen pose we're going to gently squeeze the abdominal organs releasing the stored toxins. We're gonna mobilize the back, and this is good for pain relief if you have tight lower back. You're gonna drop both knees to the right. Eye gaze to the ceiling, or look over your opposite shoulder. This is a revolved abdomen pose. We're releasing the toxins that are in our body. Bring your knees center, drop your knees to the back of the room. That back hand can be on top of the top leg. And look over your opposite shoulder to the front. Again, this revolves abdomen pose is great in mobilizing the back. And it can give pain relief for tight lower back muscles. Beautiful twisting moves today to release toxins, to create better blood flow in through our body. I love twisting poses. They're so rejuvenating for the body. Bring your knees center, place your hands on your knees and just do some hip rolls out and in. And reverse the hip rolls. Just hands on tops of your knees. 
out and in. Can you grab behind your knees and rock it up? This is it. Deep breath in. Inhale. And exhale, heart center. One more time and we are all done. Beautiful inhalation. And exhale. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. I hope you join me for one of my other extended stretches. They're all 15 minutes and under. Until next time, my name is Angie. Bye.